module five, okay? So like that, you can understand what we got here. Let me share my screen. All right, so this is what we have basically for module five. We got places in a town and ancient civilizations, past activities. So we're gonna talk about the past, types of movies, um, scary movie, romance movies, personal memories, things that you remember from when you were little. The grammar is gonna be the simple past of the verb be, the past of can, the past of have, and the simple past of regular and irregular verbs. We're gonna talk about memories, all right? And one of the most important thing is the pronunciation of ED, that we can find in YouTube. Um, the verbs that are in the past, they end in ED, most of them, but we have three types of pronunciation in ED. Then we got a writing email to a friend recommending a movie you saw, Cultural life in the USA in the gloomy 1960s. So things um, in the past as we get there. Now, we have here the first part that it says, it has this information. It says pool, theater, beach, park, zoo, gym, library, fast food restaurant, opera house, aquarium, and supermarket. I can see a zoo, but I can't see a school or a supermarket. So we ask to check the places that you can see in the picture. And here we have, you know, some nice place that is a, a river. Here we have a well and people on the ocean. And on the other side, we have a couple of things. It says here, we're talking about yesterday and things before. So everything about this module is about the past. So we're gonna have verbs in the past. We're gonna have actions in the past, sentences in the past. So Jane was at the pool. That means that was is the past of is, or the past of the verb be. So Tony was at the library, theater or aquarium. Sandy and Mark were at work, home or at school. So now I'm going to play so we can complete this part. All right, you listen. They're going to say Jane was at the pool or Jane was at the zoo or Jane was at the park. So you need to correct or complete with one, two, or three. I'm going to play and you tell me. One. So Jane, how was your weekend? It was very nice. It was exciting to see the giraffes and take photographs of the monkeys. Two. What was the play like, Tony? It was amazing. All the actors were great, too. Hi, teacher. Where is my book? I can't find it on the desk. Hello, it's on the desk in my room. Sorry Man. to interrupt. Hi, Angelis, how are you? Is everything good? So we got... Yes. Good, good. We got two students now. That means that we can do a conversation with you. We are playing the audio. We are correcting this part, all right? According to what you listen, we got to put if Jane was at the pool, at the zoo, or at the park. And the same thing with the rest. If Tony was at the library, at the theater, or aquarium, we got to pick one. I'm going to play again so we can listen. One. So, Jane, how was your weekend? It was very nice. It was exciting to see the giraffes and take photographs of the monkeys. Two. What was the play like, Tony? It was amazing. All the actors were great, too. Three. Where is my book? I can't find it on the desk. It's on the table in my room. Okay. So, number one, Jane was at the pool, at the zoo, or at the park? What is number one? Yes, number one, Jane was at the pool, zoo, or park. Which one? Two. 
Pull, teacher. Pull. Let's listen. One. So, Jane, how was your weekend? It was very nice. It was exciting to see the giraffes and take photographs of the monkeys. Okay, so it was the zoo. All right, the zoo is where you got all the animals. They're talking about a giraffe and they're talking about monkeys. All right, so it's the zoo. The zoo is where you have all different kinds of animals. Let's listen to number two. Tony was at the library, at the theater or aquarium. Where was Tony? At the theater. At the theater. That is correct, Angelis, because it's asking about the play. Two. What was the play like, Tony? Mm -hmm. It was amazing. Exactly. The play, we have plays at the theater. Very good, Argelis. Number three, Sandy and Mark went at work, home, or at school. What do you have? Let me play again, and you tell me. Well, the actors were great, too. Three, where is my book? I can't find it on the desk. It's on the table in my room. All right, so what is number three? Work, home, or school? At the school. At school. What do you have to say, Fiona Lisa? Number three. Um, I'm auditioning. Work. No, they are home. Home. Because, uh, yes, because it says okay. in my room. Look, look, listen. So, Jane, how was your weekend? It, it was very nice. It was ex... Three. Where is my book? I can't find it on the desk. It's on the table in my room. One part of it. Yes. No. Okay, it's in my room, they say. So, if you say your room, that means that it's, it's in your house. But good, good. Remember that we are recording this, especially for the rest of the students. Because um, on the next class is the last class, so we need to finish everything. We need to finish the module five exam for next Saturday and the final exam for next Saturday. So make sure that you are studying. Yesterday afternoon, I was, well, I was, yesterday afternoon, I was teaching. Yesterday afternoon, I was at my grandmother's house. So we're talking about yesterday. And the idea is that you can talk about you in that context. We'll go to the next part. Let me check. All right, here in 5A, remember that you have some vocabulary. So I want you guys to listen and repeat. You listen and repeat for the vocabulary. Theater. I don't hear you. Listen and repeat. Theater. Theater. Yes? Okay, you're back. Please repeat. Theater. 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 Not theater. teacher. Theater. Listen and repeat. Post office. 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 Cafe. I don't hear you. Cafe. Cafe. Mm -hmm. Cafe. Cafe is a place. Cafe. 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 Mm -hmm. Cafe. Restaurant. 
The meeting is in Zoom. The meeting is in Zoom. Restaurant. 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 Department store. Department store. Department store. Department store. Bakery. 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 Parking lot. Parking lot. Parking lot. Parking lot. Hotel. 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 Bookstore. 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 Museum. Museum. Hospital. 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 Apartment building. Apartment building. Apartment building. Apartment building. Clothing store. Clothing store. Clothing store. Grocery. 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 All right. Grocery. Remember, you're going to have this video. Um, you can play it again and practice because the idea of that is that you can get that pronunciation. All right. Since this is an extra class, um, you are not going to copy this now. I'm just going to explain it. And you can pause it and copy it a little later. Hello, Mr. Alonso, and good afternoon. Blessings to you. How are you? Okay, when it comes to the past, guys, we have a couple of things that we need to understand. That in affirmative and negative is different than question. That is the first thing. And here we have um, the verb be. There is a nice video in the ITLA platform that I put, and we have pictures. I put pictures, so like that you can see the sentences and how to elaborate sentences in the past. So make sure that um, you are studying that part and that you are checking um, everything that we have. So for the third person, we got here I, he, she, and it. We use was, okay? We, you, and they, we use where. So for the singulars, all right, I singular, he singular, she and it, we use was. For the plurals, we use where, okay? You got the example here. Were you at the gym yesterday? No, I wasn't. If you're talking about the first person, is was. So affirmative, you use it for most of them. Look, it says here, I, he, or she, or it, was at the museum yesterday. We're talking about yesterday because we are talking about the past. For plurals, we use where. We, you, and they were at the museum yesterday. So that is affirmative. For singular, we use was. For plural, we use where. That's what we have for this part of grammar. When it's negative, then the negative goes after the verb be. The same thing. I, he, she, it was not or wasn't. And for plurals, we, you, and they weren't or were not at the zoo last Saturday. At the zoo last Saturday. So that is affirmative. The negative goes after the verb be. The past of the verb be is was and where. Was for singular where for plural. When is in questions, then it changes. In questions, first we put the verb be like we normally do in the simple present questions. In this case, this will be simple past. So if I want to elaborate a question, then the question will have the verb be first. Was 
I at the theater last night? Was he at the theater last night? And for the plural, it's the same. We use where. Look, we use where. So if I want to ask a question with the plural, we say, where were we at the theater last night? Yes, we were at the theater. Were you at the theater last night? Yes, you were at the theater. For short answers, well, you can say only yes, okay? Or you can say yes, no. Or you can say yes, I was, yes, he was, if you're talking about a boy. Yes, she was, yes, it was. If it's no, and then you say no, I wasn't, or no, I was not. No, he wasn't. No, she wasn't, or no, it wasn't. When you talk about a dog or a thing. Yes, we were, in plurals. Yes, you were. Yes, they were. And negative, no, we weren't, or no, we were not. Or no, you weren't. Or no, they weren't, or they were not. All of this is very similar to what we had in the simple present. The only difference is that now it's in the past. And the past of the verb be is was and where. Was for singular and where for plural. All right? Hmm. Questions in this context, guys, with this chart. Questions. Look at it. Let me know. Say it. Talk to me. Yes, I have it. No, it's okay. Remember that you have some more videos too that you can watch, especially in the ePlat platform. Let me see if we are here. We could say, let's complete this with was, where, wasn't, or weren't. Remember that this is for affirmative. All right, singular affirmative, affirmative plural, negative affirmative, negative plural. So I'm gonna give you two minutes so you can complete this. When you finish, you tell me that you finish. So then we can continue with the rest. Say, Mr. Ray, yes, I finished. Finish. All right, thank you, Alonso. Yes. Okay. One more to finish, one more. Who else is finished?
Belitsa, do you finish? Feel that, Lisa? One more that finish. What else is finished? Well, let's check what we have then. Number one, where is Steve last night? What do I put here? Where was? Where was Steve last night? That he is wasn't correct. home. Was Bob with him? No, he wasn't. Oh, he I'm and sorry. Kelly were at the theater. <laughs> they say everything. Okay. Where was Steve last night? He, what do I put here? He was. He was. Okay. Bob with him. What do we put here? Was Bob. Exactly. It's a question of singular. No, he. He wasn't. He wasn't. He wasn't. It's singular. He wasn't. He and Kelly were, were at the theater because it's um, plural. And this one, you what? at the gym yesterday. What? Where? 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 Because you use this where all the time, okay? Yes. No, we. Where? Where? Weren't we? Weren't. We were. Where? We were. At the school. Where? Where are you? Where were you? Was I was. was at the library. library. Okay, okay. Were you at the gym yesterday afternoon? No, we weren't. We were at the zoo. Where was Steve last night? He was at home. Was Bob with him? No, he wasn't. He and Kelly were at the theater. Were you at the gym yesterday afternoon? No, we weren't. We were at the zoo. Where were you? I was at the library. Remember that you can practice um, repeating this a little later, right? You're going to have the video, so you can always hit it and practice so you can repeat and get this pronunciation. It's not that difficult compared to the other classes because once you understand uh, the past, then this module is going to be basically complete. All right. It's all about the past, regular and irregular verbs. Look and say what there was, there wasn't on Main Street 50 years ago. Make sentences. So here we're going to elaborate sentences. All right. We're going to see the differences. All right. This is the cafe that we had, and this is the theater that we had. This is the bakery, this is the grocery, clothing store, and the bookstore. So they're gonna say something, and you need to write a sentence, and the sentence should be similar to this. It says, there was a theater on Main Street 50 years ago. There wasn't a post office. So depending on what they say, right, then you need to elaborate a sentence. We're going to do at least two sentences. So like that, you can say it. It says, look and say there was and there wasn't on Main Street 50 years ago. Make sentences. So a, a cafe. There was a cafe on Main Street 50 years ago. There wasn't a hotel. OK. There was a grocery on Main Street 50 years ago. There wasn't a supermarket. There was a bakery on Main Street 50 years ago. There wasn't a restaurant. There was a clothing store on Main Street 50 years ago. There wasn't a department store. There was a bookstore on Main Street 50 years ago. There wasn't an apartment building. There was a bakery on Main Street 50 years ago. There wasn't a restaurant. There was a cafe on Main Street 50 years ago. There wasn't a hotel. There was a grocery on Main Street 50 years ago. There wasn't a supermarket. There was a clothing store on Main Street 50 years ago. There wasn't a department store. All right, so now you need to elaborate one example using there was 
um, or there wasn't 50 years ago, and there was, or there wasn't, or there is when we talk about now. You see the, the audio. There was a grocery on Main Street 50 years ago. There wasn't a supermarket. Okay. So you need to elaborate one sentence similar to that one. There was and there wasn't. So let's do that on the chat. I'm going to be waiting for that example. You need to write one with was and wasn't 50.